everybody. For this discussion, Teach Back, I did it on a painting. And this painting is um, called Still Life with Apples. And the artist's name is Paul Cezanne. And it can be found in Chapter 3 on page 45. The medium of this painting is an oil painting on a canvas. A little bit about the artist that plays into the painting is that the artist painted the same objects such as apples, green vases, ginger pots, over and over again. So if you go look at his different um, pieces of art, he has some that are similar to this, but not the same. Um, he was not particularly interested in the objects themselves, but he used them to experiment with shape, color, and lighting. Um, some things about the painting is that the painting is a very real image and it referenced to what the artist saw. This is a still life painting and still life paintings are, um, they have a realism to them. So the artist was highly critical of his subjects and perceived them as different shapes that could be placed together to make an overall form. He created his work slowly. It actually took him like three months to make this painting. And um, he builds upon each previous figure with a new outline. Using this method, it took him months to finish, finish his portraits or still lives paintings. Um, he did uh, use drawing and sketching before he placed his paintbrush on the canvas. And um, let's see. So in Chapter 7, it talks about pigment, binder, vehicle support things like that and so um, the pigment in this painting is mixed with various vegetable oils such as lyseed, walnut, and poppy seed. The binder of this um, painting is linseed oil and the vehicle is turpentine and so I looked it up and it's you mix turpentine with the linseed oil to make your own medium. The turpentine makes a slow drying medium. And the support of this painting was a canvas. So some advantages to using oil versus any other painting medium is that it's actually slow drying. So it allows the artist to blend strokes of color and make changes. It's also very flexible. Um, Oil paint can provide both increased opaque, opacity. I really just messed up this video, didn't I? I'm going with it. All right, and a thin, greater transparency. So, this actually, this medium is considered a favored medium of the painters in the Western world for the last five centuries. So, this is a close up of the painting. And I hope you enjoyed my little fails this week. Thank you.